So at the moment, we now have the styling set up, but the functionality isn't there. So when I type in, nothing happens. We need to set a value for the input. And we also need to have a on change method so that when we type in, it changes and it updates the value of the input. So going back up to the parent component, so the to do component in here, I'm going to have some state and that is going to be const input and set input like so which is equal to use state and the state is going to be an empty string so that will mean it's empty like so and what i also want to do is i want to pass this down into the child component of the form so input will equal input like so and set input is equal to set input so these are props that are being passed down into the form component so that when we go into the form component we now have access to the updated changes on the input and set input i also need to import use state from react like so so if i go into my form input now i can now destructure what i'm getting back so i will be getting the input that i passed from the to do component and also the set input like so so now instead of the input value being an empty string it will be equal to the input and i am also going to add a on change method onto the input so that each time i type in it changes so on change which is equal to a function of set input and we want to get the value of the event within the import field so we pass in the e as a parameter so then within the set import we now have access to the e dot target target dot value so now the import field is set i'm now going to console log what the import is so console dot log input just to see if everything is working correctly so, so now if I inspect the page and go into my console tab, we have an empty input. So if I type into here, hello, each time, whenever the import component changes, we have an on change event that updates the state of the input. So each character that I type in, as you can see, it updates the state of input. So if I now delete, it goes it deletes each event that i make so the the value updates also so now the functionality is working for the import what we need to do is create the database so the back end portion the reason we are creating it in the back end is because we could be handling sensitive data which could be accessed on the front end so if we go into the elements and on here we can see the text we want to handle the sensitive information in the back end so that's what we will do next 